Great. So let's start from where it all started, which is Aadhaar. Aadhaar is the first kind of uh, uh, thing that got built in this journey. Uh, and I know that there were three objectives as we were designing uh, Aadhaar or architecting Aadhaar. One of them objective was scale. It was always from the beginning designed for scale. Second was of inclusion. You didn't, you didn't want to leave anyone kind of behind. And third was of privacy and security. And I've heard you talk about in the past that to ensure all three of this, the principle that you adopted was the principle of minimalistic design. Indeed. If you can explain that, what does it really mean? How did it manifest and how did it ensure these three objectives? Yeah, actually there was one more objective, okay. which is innovation. Very unusually, um, it was not seen as an identity card project, which is very, very, very common to do that, right? When you issue identity, you issue identity cards to, to people. But we, we thought of that system as an identity platform with open APIs, in one sense application programming interfaces that allow other systems to become efficient, faster, cheaper, um, the way they want to leverage. So innovation was a fourth vector. So the, uh, the question on minimalism, it was uh, such an important um, decision that we had to make. And minimalism played in not only this, in everything we did subsequently, right? Evolvability, uh, sustainability. If you look at everything, minimalism plays, and it's very, un it's very uh, counterintuitive. Right? So you're right. That's a counterintuitive for engineers and product. And we come from product to engineer, right? We want to build more features. We want to have more stuff in our product. Uh, less is not, you know, what you look for. So it's asking the question, why do, you, why do you need that? Why do you need that? Why don't we remove that, remove that, remove that? It was a very, very counterintuitive. It was counterintuitive for us. It was counterintuitive for government. So I start with this um, industry and we tell, uh, you know, uh, set up a committee. He was, he was retired by then and he was brilliant. Uh, he, he had the committee to decide what attributes, what fields will go into Adha. And that was a story. And that, that's when some of us were volunteering. I quit my commercial career in one sense and volunteered for Adha. And sitting in Delhi, and first of all, I'm not a Delhi, I'm in the, in the South India, so solid, right? <laughs> all right here. And it, you know, it's not obvious coming there into Delhi and seeing the power in that room. Power means official power. You know, Home Secretary, secretary Home Secretaries of, you know, Finance Secretary. And I have no idea what it means to be in that room. Uh, and everybody is opinion, you know, creating opinion, deciding what to go. And um, but I think what really played out, and and it was very natural for everyone to say, if you're going to enumerate a billion people, we we should use that opportunity to ask few more questions, right? Whether they have a house, Paka house, Kata house, whether their education, uh, their economic uh, status. When will we get a chance like this? To give one, one billion people are going to stand in line. So it was so natural for everybody to say, let's include that also, let's include this, let's include that. And we were thinking, my God, if you include all that thing, it's just an identity project, right? We don't need economic status. We don't need cultural, religious, anything. And that during that time, caste census was supposed to kick in. So we were terrified that they would put caste into other, and we didn't really want, because it didn't make any sense for an identity. Digital identity means, you know, it didn't matter to us. So we used inclusion as an argument, and privacy was less argued. It's very interesting. When you sit in large committees, you don't question the committee itself. You don't question the intent of the committee, saying, you know, we are outsiders, we don't trust the government, and so you know, you don't collect. It's a very bad way to argue to them. <laughs> so you argue on inclusion. Inclusion was a better argument because their intent is genuine. And most leaders were sitting there genuinely interested in solving large inclusion problems. Before in 2009, we had less than 20% bank accounts, 17% institutions. So you don't capture the bank accounts. Nobody has bank Mm -hmm. So we wanted inclusion, inclusion, that was the argument. So to include, yeah. we made the argument that the more questions you ask, the less people you will include. And that was a very interesting argument. And even things like, you know, you, I know you, you know, you're aware of this, 
name, first name, last name. We had uh, at least few hours of debate whether we should have first name, last name uh, in the same, in, in like in the passport. Uh, or we should have just name and we you know we said name because we had actually India has no first name last name I said, no no we have names like Om that's it there's no nothing around it like two letters we don't have one letter name I don't think we have one letter that yet but who you know who was in the name who is talking and with names with um, all God's goddesses names right you know like in you know some states we have you know. <laughs> so what is first name, last name, what is middle name, there is nothing. So finally we argued on one name, field called name. And then we had things like um, date of birth. And we realized no, date of birth is not obvious to half the country. So we had this age and date of birth was, oh, it's not mandated, but it's just declared age. And so removing every such attribute, uh, we also argued this, if you ask for, it was very common to ask, Father slash husband. You see a government form at least ten years ago. You will see a very common thing, and people will wonder why not wife's name. Why no? Because we are all you know <laughs> liberal thinkers, right? And we are wondering why only men showing up there. But the real question we ask is that why not? How do how do homeless or orphans want to get out of? If you insist on father, mother, and all, what how what happens to leprosy patients? What happens to homeless? And I remember still remember going out. Doing a Delhi government supported a specific enrollment camp in the night for homeless because that's the only time they would come back to the centers. You know, otherwise they are on the street. Uh, it's amazing how inclusion, that one thing, can actually create such compelling argument for minimalism. But minimalism subsequently helped us in Supreme Court significantly. The fact that we have just four attributes, we don't even know the purpose of other, how you use using other, we don't understand location. We don't store any of that in the system. It was so minimalistic and helped privacy. And uh, interestingly, it also helped adoption. Why? Because the more we would have captured, the more ministries we would have pissed off. <laughs> Simple as that. Right? If you capture blood group and blood to help the record, the health ministry is going to be very unhappy about it. Uh, or finance ministry. So I think not capturing anything actually didn't threaten anybody else's turf. So these are all nuanced learning, you know, how you can start at this scale. Our scale come, came from minimalism because we had so little to capture. It, we could just do it one million a day, one and a half million enrollments we were doing a day. Yeah. That's how we got yeah. six, seven years, six and a half years we got to a million people. So. Great. No, that's a big, big learning and it's, as you said, counterintuitive. Very You're counter saying that you're giving the inclusion argument to exclude fields. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and that worked. Yeah, yeah. And it worked out. Yeah, yeah. It was stuck in Supreme Court. It's where yeah, it's yeah, yeah. And if you look at the various identity projects around the world, you'd see 50 fields. 25 fields quite casually because you would say, how do I... Know? And most identities are... That's another very thing. And you, again, you know it very well. Uh, Aadhaar was weird in one sense. That we didn't have any entitlements attached to it. That means it didn't even give you citizenship rights, right? It was nothing to do with citizenship. It does nothing. It didn't give you. So people used to wonder, why bother? Why are you even doing this, right? You, why, are you supposed to give you a looking laminated <laughs> card? Which, no, I don't think anybody likes your own other photos anyway. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Then do what? Give. You guarantee nothing. You give zero entitlement. It was very complicated. Yeah. But because of that, we got everything else adopted. Actually, very, very fun. And that was the, that was the first layer foundation. Of foundation. Right. Really, the Aadhaar. Of the <laughs> yes, very well named also. Yeah. 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 Of everything that kind of came subsequently. And, and what today we know that as the India past is nothing but a set of layers of digital public infrastructure, right. one feeding into the other yeah. in some sense, yeah. and together providing us that kind yeah. of platform on which solutions can be built. Sure. So, uh, so can you explain uh, uh, for anyone that how did different layers come about subsequently? And yeah. Yeah, one layer to the other. Like yeah, yeah. In those. So, yeah. other, uh, I think this, um, this is what you realize. Um, other success was because again, it was so minimalistic, it didn't threaten anyone. Everybody found value. So we had to articulate, and if you're all going to be entrepreneurs, that's one learning you need to do. Never explain features. 
nobody wants to hear your product features. They want to hear the value. Okay, that, that they are going to get. Because you are talking about features, so I'm telling you, this is a trap we are calling. Explain all the features, right?